Grassy Posse Packer Nation, welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan. But it sure does help, but I couldn't blame you if you weren't a Packers fan because what in the living hell did I just watch? The Green Bay Packers just lost to a 2-9 and team at home, losing 20-17 to against the Arizona freaking fracking Cardinals. I, I have no words. This is just... This is bad. Like, this this is rock bottom. This is the kind of event that makes your entire team go to rehab. This is the te- This is the kind of game in which all your friends, you, you, you go home, you're excited to, to kind of lay out on the couch, and you, you unlock the door, and you walk in, and all your friends are sitting there in a circle with a big banner that says intervention on it. This is the game. Um... There's there's nothing good to say about this, not in any way, shape, or form, at all. Uh, but first, before we get into that, and I continue to cry, uh, I want to thank the new members uh, who joined Patreon to really help me out uh, this past week. If you would like to help out, if you want to donate a dollar or five dollars a month, uh, it would be very, very helpful. It keeps the show running and also allow this to do full time, even though I don't know why I would want to, uh, but at least it'll allow me to buy a bigger toaster for my bathtub. Uh, but you can check that out at patreon.com slash comedy. Thank you very much. It helps a lot. And thank you to all the people that joined in the stream today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, fun is a word. Okay. Let's look at some stats first before we really just really just jump right into it. Uh, Aaron Rodgers went 31 for 50, threw the ball 50 times in the rain and the snow. Because why would you hand it to Aaron Jones more than 11 times? Aaron Jones... Uh, went 11 for 36 with one touchdown, but Rodgers, 233 and one touchdown on the day, almost threw a pick, uh, was off on a bunch of his throws, but we'll talk about that momentarily. Uh, Williams was given the ball seven times and rushed for a whole 13 yards. That was something. Devontae Adams continued to be an elite pass catcher, going eight for 93 with one touchdown. Uh, which was a great tiptoe in the end zone. He had two really great catches today. Jimmy Graham going eight for 50. And then on the other side of the ball, Josh Rosen going 11 for 26, 149 yards. Uh, David Johnson, 20 for 69. Edmonds, their backup running back, going 5 for 53, but with two touchdowns. Kirk, 3 for 54, and Fitzgerald, 3 for 48. Fitzgerald converting on a fourth and 20, I'm sorry, third and 23, uh, converting that, which really just sealed the game uh, for the Green Bay Packers. Now, Let's talk about a couple things here. One, do I blame Mason Crosby? No. Uh, it was a tough kick. The wind was at his back. Oh, look, the Bears just lost. That's something, I guess, and so did the Panthers. Everything that was supposed to happen today happened, except the Packers beating what was supposed to be an easy game. Uh, but Crosby missed the game, tying field goal to send it into overtime. I don't blame him at all. Um, it really shouldn't have even come down to that, to be completely honest. Um, let's talk about Aaron Rodgers first before we rip into Mike McCarthy. Aaron Rodgers missed several throws again. This is not the first time that this has happened this season, as it's now becoming a theme throughout this season, in which I was excited Randall Cobb was back. They were talking about how much they were going to air it out against this defense, against this team that's really probably one of the worst teams in football. Uh, We're playing at home again. Everything was supposed to be good. And Rodgers, like even the throw to Devontae Adams, the touchdown throw, was high, and Devontae had to make that look a lot more impressive than it actually should have been. Um, His throws were to the outside. They were low. He was just, there was one play where he was just airing it out. It really wasn't great. Um, And so, again, while I know that McCarthy's going to take the the brunt of this, and and he should, um, you know, Rodgers is not looking the same. And... I think we're all looking for reasons of, you know, he doesn't have the chemistry with the wide receivers, which I think is a part of it. People are talking about Jordy Nelson, which I think is a part of it. But I think we also need to look at the offensive line. We also need to look at, you know, Aaron Rodgers himself. And the guy is not playing up to the standards that we are used to. And I've said now throughout this entire season that the number one problem with the Packers is Aaron Rodgers. And I don't mean the player himself. I mean that the entire team revolves around Aaron Rodgers. And the constant three out, three and outs, the constant, you know, throwing away, the, we'll get to the play calling in a second, is, is just not, it's not good. Um, and, and I hope it's not a, 
a sign of what's to come. Um, I really, really don't. But let's talk about the play calling. This was a joke in the stream nonstop. Uh, the running on third and 10, um, the the short screen passes with no blockers to Jamal Williams or to wide receivers over and over and over and over again. It's it's just disgusting. And I, I can't tell if Aaron is frustrated with that. I can't tell if Aaron is frustrated with himself. I, I really don't know what the hell is going on with this team in that McCarthy's play calling is utter garbage. Rodgers is not playing as well as he should. I don't even put really a lot of it on the defense. The defense could have done a lot better today, but like we should be winning if we're holding a team to 20 points. That's just my opinion. If we're supposed to have this high-powered offense, we should be winning games, especially against a 2-9 and nine freaking team. So, um, McCarthy, I don't think he's going to get fired today. I don't think he's going to get fired tomorrow. Maybe by the end of the season, I would hope. Um, when it comes to actual playoff chances now, they're, they're, they're low. They're real, real low. I just came up with an episode last week talking about how if the Packers were able to win out, maybe they could sneak in and the Panthers lost today and the Bears lost today. And this was, this was all great. This was all wonderful stuff. Um, this was supposed to be the easy game. This was supposed to be the easiest one on the schedule besides that and the, and the Jets game. But the Jets game was away, so I was like, maybe that'll be a little bit more difficult. I don't even know if we could beat the Falcons next week. I don't know what team is going to show up every single week. I don't know what's going on. Uh, you know, there a lot of, of course, a lot of people will come on and say, you know, Rodgers has lost it and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. I don't think that's the case. I think it's an over-exaggeration, but... There is a drastic problem with this team. I think a bunch of it falls on McCarthy, and hopefully those problems will be solved once he is gone, if he's gone. Um, but, yeah, Packers fans, this isn't good. This is really, really not good. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's still, like, the slight— since those teams lost today, I think there's, like, the slightest chance that we could still make the playoffs. But, yeah. I'm going to keep hoping for it, because what else do I got? Uh, it's either that or the eternal— pit of despair that I will find myself in. So that's uh, that's how I'm currently feeling right now. Uh, love is dead. God is dead. Everything's bad. Everything is just so bad because we lost to the Arizona Cardinals. We lost to a guy who c completed 11 passes and threw for less than 150 yards. I just don't know. I don't even know. We're so bad. We're so, so bad. But we're going to keep on fighting. Because we're Packer fans. Uh, I still don't believe in tanking. But this was a rough one to watch. It really was. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm sure these comments will be nothing but happy good times. You can always find me at TomGrassiComedy.com, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy, or TomGrassiComedy on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, Twitch, all that great wonderful stuff. Uh, you, can, you can do that. We stream the games every single week, uh, the Packers games, uh, even though they might start incorporating more and more alcohol. I think they definitely will need to. Uh, check out Packcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, and of course here on YouTube. We have multiple episodes per week, uh, and we got that. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi, and as always, go Pack Go! Thanks, Nutcracker Man. God, I need all the drinks. Mm -hmm.